Hi everyone! I am jumping onto the Disney Princess bandwagon and giving you a Snow White manicure today. The color scheme is a little different than usual, but I think the muted theme makes the red apple pop. And since Halloween is just around the corner, you could also wear this to go with your costumes. This design is fairly simple to do, mostly stamping with a little bit of decorating, so I hope you like it. Leave a comment below and let me know who is your favorite Disney princess. As always, start with base coat to protect your nails. Then apply a coat or two of a white nail polish and let that completely dry before moving on. Using the Snow White Image Play available at Melanie.com, apply the silver stamping polish over the image in the middle. Scrape off excess polish using this scraper, then transfer the image using the stamper. Check that the image is complete, then aim and roll it onto the nail. In between steps, clean the image plate, stamper and scraper with nail polish remover. Then repeat steps for the remaining nails. For designs like this that doesn't have a directional preference, another way to stamp the design is to flip your fingers over and roll your finger into the stamp. You can half roll the finger and half roll the stamper to meet each other halfway. Some people find it easier to see this way, but once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to stamp it any direction. Once you've done the rest of the nails, you already have a pretty nice design just as it is. You can totally wear this at a wedding or to a prom. Moving on, we're going to use the top Snow White design with a black stamping polish. The bottom one is big enough to fill the thumbnail, but for the ring finger, I can only fit the smaller one on. Next, using the image on the right, I'm going to stamp it onto my index and pinky finger. If you're using the same color onto the same design and do it quickly enough before the nail polish dries, you can get away with only cleaning the stamper. But if you find the image is not transferring completely, then you should clean the plate and scraper to start over. Once you're done, dip a cotton bud in polish remover and clean off excess polish around the cuticles. As you can see without doing anything more, the design looks kind of flat, so adding more colors onto it will bring more life to this set of nails. Simply adding a couple of flowers using a dotting tool will make a huge difference to the design. Place 5 dots using the smallest dotting tool to form a flower. And do the same for the pinky finger as well. For the middle finger, dot in 2 more flowers using the medium sized dotting tool. Leave an open area to put the apple in. I'm going to show you 2 options later. To decorate the snow white print on the ring finger, simply color in the headband and lips with a little bit of red polish. You can use a detail brush or a toothpick to do this part. And to make the eyes pop out a little bit more, add a tiny dot of brown polish over the eye area. Very subtle, but it really does bring more life to the character. To balance out the colors with the remaining nail set, add in a couple of random dots to fill in the spaces. If your nails are longer and have more room, definitely add a flower in there if you can. Finally, for the poison apple, you can either stamp it on using the apple design from Conan Image Plate M55 by placing two colors onto the plate and scraping it sideways, you can create a two color print like this. Or the second option, if you have the female fruit slices, simply add top coat as adhesive onto the nail and place the apple on top. Once you're done, finish with top coat to seal in the design and secure the decals. If you like this video, please rate it, share it and add it to your favorite playlist. 
please subscribe for updates. I put out new videos every Thursday. Check out my second channel for the vid ink vlog. I met a lot of YouTubers that day. Also check out my Halloween playlist in the info box below. Thanks for watching.